I'm cutting up this rutabaga. I have two in here and I already put some in this bag right here. This is a, a bag, Ziploc bag that I had and I'm going to fill that with these rutabagas here. This is what a rutabaga look like. It's a waxy uh, coating on it and you peel it and you cook it with some kind of uh, um, fat back or something like that. And, and this is a root. That's why they call it a rutabaga. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make rutabagas. And this says that is one ham hock. And I'm going to put two ham hocks in here. Put some onions. And, and season to taste. These are the seasonings that I will be just putting in there. Not the not the chill seeds, but those right there. Probably a, a tablespoon of each. And as I stir the seasoning in it, put a top on it and let it cook on a low flame for two hours. Well, first of all, I'm going to let that cook for one hour, and then I'll put the rutabagas in it afterwards. I've gotten the uh, meat kind of tender. Pork goes in. The seasoning you can use season to your taste. I just use the seasoning that I like. I'm showing you how the meat is tender. So now I'm going to put the root bakers in and cook them until they are tender. This is what they look like. They were frozen. After I cut them up, and I put them in this pan here to deposit them in here. You eat your root beta bagers made with some cornbread, fried chicken, maybe even some cabbage if you want some greens to go with them on the side. And you just let them cook. Um, I had to let those ham hocks cook for three hours. Uh, because they were not tender uh, like they are now. But I could have let them, let them cook for two hours and then put the rutabagas in it. And then let it cook for the uh, another hour. But this way the ham hock is going to fall apart in the, in the rutabagas. They're ready. Let me dip some up just to show you what they look like. Once they're done, let me turn the oven off. That's what rutabagas bagels look like once they're done. And this is there, but this is how you do it. Don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that everything button. If you want to see some of that ham hock, let me get a good look at that too. Little beggars and ham hock. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.